Okay, so we had done the Van der Waals equation, right? Van der Waals equation represents the the Van der Waals equation. Van der Waals equation. Van der Waals equation represents what? It is P plus A in the square upon V square. It's quite derivable this term also. Into V minus NB. V minus NB is equal to NRT. Right? So P into V is equal to PV is equal to NRT is somehow somehow it becomes this for for a real gas where this is the the real pressure. Right. Hmm? Now at very high pressures, what should happen? When the pressure is high, what does happen is <clears throat> at, at high pressures, at very high pressures, all gases have Z greater than one okay if you see this is z versus p that we have drawn okay these were h2 and he and then we had The gases like that. Hmm? Hmm? Okay, so these were the gases. Now, what happens at very high pressures when you when you start moving like that to the right? What happens? Your Z inevitably becomes greater than one. Why should that be so? Fine, that is there. But but can we can we do something from the from the Equation. Can we find out something from the equation? What can we do? What happens here? P real into V, okay? P real into V minus P n B plus a n square upon v square into v is a n square upon v okay a n square upon v minus a n cube b by v square is equal to n r t okay now what happens p real into v is equal to NRT plus PNB plus ANQB upon V square minus AN square upon V that makes it NRT plus plus ENB plus AN square upon V V into bn upon v minus 1. This is how it goes, right? What should happen at very high pressures? At very high pressures, this term, this term overwhelms everything else. Even NRT. NRT, it gets added to that. Hold on. 
it gets added to that. It is NRT plus something. Now plus something plus something, right? Now here, here V is also small, so this will also be far, far greater than 1 because at higher pressures the volume is less. So this is positive, this is positive, so P real into V, this is, this is P real, no? This is P real. P real into V has to be greater than NRT because it is NRT plus something. Do we get that? So what happens there? What happens? Therefore, P real into V is greater than NRT. It implies that P real into V upon NRT is greater than 1. And isn't that what we are calling as Z? So Z is greater than 1. Is it not? That is the reason, that is the reason this happens, okay? At intermediate pressures, at intermediate pressures, At, at intermediate pressures, what happens? Again, the same thing happens. Let us try to see. At, at intermediate pressures, we may have this term, this term, because V is large. Correct. So, so, so this might be negative and so negative that it overwhelms this. Understand this? If the value of this term is, is, is more negative than the positive of this, so the net effect is that it becomes a negative. So NRT minus something. Do we get that? At intermediate pressures, PNB plus AN square upon V into BN upon V minus 1 minus 1 is negative. Okay. So what happens? Therefore, therefore, P real into V is equal to NRT minus a constant, a positive constant. minus positive constant or you can say plus a negative constant okay so 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 what do i get we get p real into v is less than an rt it's less than an rt what does that mean it means that p real into V upon NRT is less than 1. It implies that Z is less than 1. Intermediate pressures is not very low, not very high, moderate kind of pressure. At very, very low pressure, try to understand. Why won't you know? V is so huge that even when N is small and B is whatever, it can it can become, make, make everything more, right? Mm -hmm. If you if you make it very, very small volume, then it will become become that, right? At very low pressures, what happens? At very low pressures, P is very low, so V is very high. So, so, so these terms will become absolutely negligible, okay. This becomes negligible because P is very low, this becomes negligible because V is very large, positive or negative, right. 
this this will be a negative and this will be also negative but it will be a very very small negative value this and this will be a very very small positive value okay it may be that both of them cancel maybe okay both of them cancel it can be so it cannot be so here just try to understand this is the point where they are equal this is the point where they are equal this is this is that intermediate pressure where it is less than 1 this this is why it had dipped this is why it dipped why did this not dip hydrogen and helium because their their a values are very very small very very small values so even if it is negative it is it, it is absolutely negligible so so you see the 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 nrt uh, the p real into v is always greater than nrt so so that's why it takes off straight okay this has got great implications the the van der waals now at very very low pressures hmm p n b plus a at very very low pressures p is very 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 less than 1 and v is very 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 greater than 1 you normally don't write it like that so this a n square upon v into b n upon v minus 1 is negligible is negligible therefore pv is equal to nrt the p real right p real therefore p real into v upon nrt is equal to 1 therefore z is equal to 1 so 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 these this region where it again comes and hits the z is equal to 1 line okay so 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 you can say when the when the volume is so large that the volume occupied by the gas by the by the molecules is negligible compared to is negligible compared to the volume occupied by the gas then z is equal to 1 it starts behaving like an ideal gas it comes and yes hits the straight line yeah so it's not it that does not always follow the ideal gas it, it cannot it cannot try to understand <coughs> the more you compress the, it, it is the interplay of these terms right mm -hmm. it is always the interplay of these terms and the relative values of a and b right it only becomes at some point 